Loving Rochester and Karen's Corner. I hope you're having a great day today. Thank you again for joining me for a daily tidbit of inspiration. Today we are reading from the book 365 Ways to Change Your Life with Suzanne Summers. Uh, I say it every day, but I think her book is really phenomenal and she has great ideas and concepts for you to implement. And if you do, I guarantee you, you will have a better life. So, day 26, thank you, and here we go. There are some days you feel that nobody has problems as bad as your own. For whatever reason, you feel that someone like you is not going to have as good a life as other people. Maybe you didn't get the education you desired, or perhaps you came from a dysfunctional family, where everyone pretended that no problems existed. Perhaps you were one of those people who got pregnant at an early age and thought that your dreams would be out of reach. These are all obstacles to happiness, and it would be understandable if you chose to spend your life feeling sorry for yourself, but who is the real loser if you choose to be a victim? Think how tremendous it would feel if you were able to turn your life around. You would, you would be so proud of the way you handled things in spite of the fact that life didn't give you a fair shake. To face your problems with courage and confidence is an indicator that you have decided not to be a victim and to not let the abuser or dysfunction or situation win. Each bump in the road is simply a reminder that there is a lesson to be learned, and in the learning you will be moved forward in your growth. When things look their darkest, you have the power to brighten them with the light of understanding and gratefulness. Nothing can hurt you unless you allow it. When you are pained by anything that happens outside of yourself, it is not that thing that hurts you, but the way you think and feel and react to it. Everything depends on your point of view. There are no easy solutions to problems. Correcting your behavior and reactions is the biggest step in healing the life, in healing your life and turning adversity into positives. Thought for today. Even though I have been handed a challenging life, I accept it as the gift that it is from which to learn and grow. I know that to be filled with self-pity only prolongs my pain. My objective is to grow and move forward. My objective is to grow and move forward because of the adversity and in doing so, I will become better, happier, stronger and wiser. It is then I will truly see and understand the gift that it has always been. Have you ever played victim? I know I have. And if you think about it, there might have been times where you played victim too, thinking it was the only thing you could do. Thinking you were powerless to move forward. Thinking that you, you couldn't leave that relationship or that you couldn't go back to school, or that because you didn't go to school, somehow life was going to stop you from succeeding in one way, shape, or form. And I can tell you that really what you're, you're doing is you're limiting yourself by your beliefs and by not going after what you want. You know, if it's an education that you want, then go back to school. I know I've gone back to school a few times. If it's a new job that you want, uh, look for that new job. Don't be fearful. If you feel you're in a relationship maybe uh, with a, an abusive husband and you feel like you can't get out, you can get out. You just need to be very careful. But, you know, there's battered women's shelters you can talk to and that can assist you in, in safe ways to get out of your relationship. The thing is, though, especially with the battered relationships, you have to be ready. You can't go back. If you if you're not strong enough and you go back, he's only going to hurt you more. So please, you know, be very cautious in these situations. I'm not telling you what to do, but call the Battered Women's Shelter. Get some counseling and get advice from them on what to do. But any
any, anywhere that you feel like you are being suppressed in some way, it's really us. We hold the key. We hold the key to our lives. And we hold the key to make the decisions in our lives of where we want to go and what we want to do. And we have to be strong enough to be able to stand up for ourselves and say, yes, this is what I want and I'm no longer going to live like this. I'm tired of this. I don't want this. Um, but we hold the key. And it's important for us to remember that we have that key. It's inside us. And we have control to stick it in and turn the knob. You can get out of whatever situation you're in. I, yes, it might be scary. Yes, it might be slightly painful. But you know what? On the other side of it, when you're removed from it, you will be so much happier and feel so much better. Thank you again for joining me. This is Karen Lambert with Loving Rochester and Karen's Corner. Please join us and subscribe on YouTube and Facebook, Loving Rochester. Loving Rochester on YouTube. Subscribe, ring the bell, and LovingRochester.com. And like the video. Please like and subscribe. Thank you and have a great day.